2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Here we are at the Genesis Invitational, one of the top events each year on the schedule. Today's coverage is about to start. Please, you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam, and Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts, if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. And let's see what he can do here today. Time for the second shot into the first. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. 11 feet to the cup. They can open up their wings after this if it goes in. This one, guys, for Eagle. Surely it's going to. And Rich, what a start. Coming out of the gate very hot after opening up with an eagle. Cannot imagine a better way to start their round off with an opening eagle. So, still currently in the lead after that hole, but Tiger Woods is lurking in second place. Time to tee off at the second. I've never seen a golf course where you're so happy to start off birdie bogey. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. The second hole, pretty straight away off the tee shot. The second shot moves a little bit from left to right back up the hill. There is some space on the right-hand side to miss your second shot up by the green, but there's no guarantees that it'll kick hard enough right to left to get back on the green. It's a sensational second hole. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's well played, pin high. All right, Henny, what's he got in front of him here with this putt? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Oh, so close. An opportunity to make their par. The putt drops, and we're moving on. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, good effort, that one, out of the bunker. Let's take a look at the current standings. Here we are at the third. Oh, look at this soar through the air. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Should find the green. And here we are with the third shot. Well, that'll play. 
And a chip in, Luke, just what the doctor ordered. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. This one was a great chip in. I could watch this all day. Now that finds him in first place. Here we are at the fourth hole. This is a spectacular par three. Ideally, players want to hit a tee shot that moves significantly from right to left and moving with the contour of the green. If they can do that, then they've got an opportunity to hit it really close. If they challenge the pin off the tee shot, well, it could come up short in that bunker, and that is a massive no-no. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Yeah, that was a safe play. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Oh, stop it. What a way to make your par. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour pro. This is what they do. They mean business. This one's for Birdie. Ooh. That's disappointing. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Stop if you've heard this before. Tiger is coming off a birdie on his last hole, and that will take him to one off the lead. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. The fairway does run out about 310 yards off the tee, and players not necessarily going to hit driver here. They have to be mindful that the fairway pitches significantly from right to left on their tee shot. From there, they're hitting their second shots downhill again to a green that chases away from them front to back. Again, a simple looking second shot, but a difficult one to get close. Playing from around 150 yards here. He leads the field by a stroke. Come on, get down. Pretty good shot there. A look here to get to 18 under the card with this putt. Go on, get in the hole. Tee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. That is definitely a confidence builder. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. This one's a par three. What an incredible design this is. And it really just takes this green and it makes it into a section of four. The back right, the front right, front left and back left, they all have their unique features to it and that all is due to the simple fact that that bunker, which is tiny, minuscule, almost not even there, it basically shapes that green into the four quadrants. It is just an amazing design. Pretty good chance here, this one's for par. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. 
She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Seeing off here at the seventh. The fairway bunker down the left-hand side comes in quicker than you can imagine. And so players want to try and hit it out towards the far right part of it. But again, you push it a little bit and now the Barranca comes into play. If you find the fairway, happy days. This green is probably one of the most severe tilted from back to front. Players need to make sure their second shots land past this hole in order for it to come back down towards the hole. You will have a downhill putt, but it's better than coming up short. Woo, back there, Horsey. Just in case Lexi thought that she was going to dominate the match today in this rivalry, he's come out and put that down, laid that gauntlet down, and now I think things will get interesting. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Okay, steady now. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Nice little par putt here. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. No harm, no foul there with that shot. From around 140 yards here. Currently in the lead by a shot. That's some good golf right there. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Get in. Fair effort. Yep, well done. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. It was on a good line. And let's see what that shot did to the leaderboard. This hole is a long par four. Only the big hitters are going to be able to carry that fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Most players are going to try and avoid it and even miss it, the fairway out to the right-hand side, which is not a bad miss. From there, the second shot is directly uphill. Deep, deep bunkers on the front right part of this. That is not the place to miss it. Anything that a little bit long will leave you a downhill putt, but that's the safe play. From around 170 yards here, this green sits well above them. An extra club is required. They're not a bad shot, that one. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Straight back up this hill can be firm here. Well, that's a nice line. A well holds. He'll take the birdie.
And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. We've reached the beginning of the back nine, the 10th. No, not at all. And what a hole it is. It's changed a lot over the years. This green is actually reminds me of something you would see at Pinehurst. There is no flat spots on it. It either is downhill or uphill. That's it. Players most likely will take driver or fairway wood and try and leave themselves just on the front left portion of this green. That's the most ideal spot they can hit it, no matter where they put the flag stick. However, hitting it there is nearly impossible. A keen short game is absolute necessity to make birdie here. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Found the green side rough. How close was that to going down? Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Great touch. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Looking for another birdie here. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. Got to like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And now we have this player currently sharing top spot on the leaderboard with the legendary Tiger Woods. Time to tee off on the 11th. It's just a long straightaway par five, almost a runway, if you like. Both sides of this fairway flanked by huge eucalyptus trees, which frames this tee shot brilliantly. You find the fairway, second shot, once again, straight forward. You must avoid that bunker front right at all costs. That is deep and nasty. You're not going to enjoy being in there. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. They'll be soaring high if this goes in. This one for Eagle. You know you want to. Well, that's a bit disappointing. A birdie putter waits. The putt is underway. Super shot, that. He's currently tied for first. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. This is where the golf course gets extremely difficult, Luke. This tee shot moves from left to right, but massive overhanging eucalyptus trees down the right-hand side prevents you from hitting a high draw over them. Once you're in the fairway, though, your second shot is to a green that's really not as big as it should be for such a long hole. And there's a famous tree just short and left of this green, Bogey's tree. Not because of the score, because Humphrey Bogart used to sit there and just watch everybody butcher this hole. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 170 yards. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Tell you what, they've got their rhythm going there. That's another green in reg. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens in regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. An opportunity for a booty here. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She got one back on that last hole. Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. 
Tish. Wow, that's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. It's really cool. This tee shot is framed by large eucalyptus trees, both right and left, requires a draw. Nothing else to do. You have to move this golf ball from right to left off this tee. If you do it correctly, well, that golf ball could chase down there miles down this fairway. If you find the fairway down there, you're going to love the second shot. The difficulty gets when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there, you're going to find the barranca, and you're probably going to find a bogey or worse. Second shot here on their 13th hole. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Oh, that's a bonus. Oh, got to love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. And it's worth taking another look at that one. Yeah, this was a gift. Wasn't expecting this. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? It's been so tight. She's tied here with her rival. And can she pull ahead now? And back to the course with the live action. Let's begin the 14th. Luke, it's a very simple hole in my mind, but for the mere mortals who are playing this game, it can be difficult because this green is not deep, but it, it's certainly wide, and it does tilt from right to left at a pretty good clip. Historically, it's not the easiest par three on this golf course, but for me, eh, I think different. Terrific shot, and a chance for Birdie coming up here at the 14th. Okay, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? This is a 12-footer here. It's got a chance. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Time to face a par four now. It's a great par four, and yet there's some players that have seen it a little bit differently lately. I always saw it as a dog leg from left to right. Just avoid that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. And this is an interesting green. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's got a low middle section and a high section on the right-hand side, and you never have a flat putt. It is always breaking one direction or another, and it's either straight uphill or straight downhill. This is the most difficult green on the golf course by a long margin. If you see it differently, you can hit it down the right, down 17 fairway, but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Good look at Birdie here. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She's got momentum now. Just birdied the last hole. <laughs> Wonderfully played. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. And 
coming off the birdie. They'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. It's an island green, if you can believe that. It's surrounded by bunkers. I think this is another one of the all-time great designs. It's only about 160 yards, Luke, but the whole green is surrounded by bunkers. Everything feeds towards the center and the front of this green once it gets on there. I just think this is a magnificent design. If you hit it in any one of those bunkers, making a par will be nearly impossible. That's inside the range. Just outside 10 feet to the hole here, right on 11 feet to be exact. This is what they have left for birdie here. What a putt started this perfectly. That's inside the range. Currently three strokes up after that hole. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. At all costs, do not hit it in that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. Anywhere to the left, even in the rough left, is just fine. From there, your next shot should be laid up out to the right-hand side. Third shot straight back up the hill with some kind of wedge. It can be an easy birdie if you get the distance on your third shot spot on. If you get it wrong, however, you could have some issues. Getting ready to play their third. Now a three-shot lead over the field. Five feet coming up to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie. Looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place, ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Now take the stroll to the final tee of this round. Tee shot up the hill, fairway tilts significantly from left to right, missing it out to the right is a massive no-no. You'll be blocked out by a bunch of eucalyptus trees that you cannot hit it through. Second shot is to a green that actually tilts away from the players, not towards them, even though the second shot is uphill. Green is historically one of the firmest on the golf course, and getting it close is nearly impossible. It is a heck of a finishing hole. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Just three feet to the cup. Gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work. So we're at the halfway stage. Rich Beam, it's been a pleasure to call the action with you. How do you think this one's going to play out? You know, two.